Oh, oh, dude, that's a good one. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my I've got to bring my wood in because it is about to start storming. I can actually hear the rain across the road right now. So it's gonna start pouring down any moment. I wanna go fishing today. And I wasn't gonna go really early, but I saw the weather and obviously I was gonna get poured on. So I'm gonna wait till after. I wonder what the fish are gonna be doing after a thunderstorm. It hasn't rained in forever. Hopefully the raindrops are gonna be cool and they're just gonna be coming up to the top just to try to get a little sweet nectar of cooler water after being boiled for a couple weeks. Look at the leaves falling for goodness sakes. All right, I gotta hurry. It is finally clearing up. Y'all know what that means. It is time to go do some fishing. Just fishing, period. I've been working on wood. I've been doing home projects, honey -dews. I'm ready to just wet a line. So Lunkers is on his way right now. He's caught some bluegill. We're gonna use some bluegill as some bait fish. We're gonna do a little bass fishing, uh, some jugging, and some scouting of just new summer fishing spots. Thank you, Lord, for not being 116 degrees today. Let's go enjoy the outdoors, y'all. Look at that Mondo worm hanging on. It's the special tail, guys. He's been, he's caught bass. He's been, he's been bitten, but he was hanging on like a monkey there. Hope you guys are catching Mondos on these Mondo worms. Yep, that's the first time I've ever seen a wing wing detector on the deck of the boat. That's a nice addition. Just in case we run out of hooks, we're gonna find some. Time to go fishing in we're on lick. You know it's a good mood when you're singing. Look at, look at Steven. Getting I'll down. <laughs> got the crew here. So we got our lines, we got our jugs. Lunkers was nice enough to get us some delicious catfish candy. Catfish, they love themselves a bluegill. That's like a nice, juicy steak. We're gonna head out, do a little bit of that, maybe a little bass fishing, do a mix. I don't know, we're just going fishing. Guys, I left the plug out. Oh no. What just happened? Yeah. Well, someone left the... Oh yeah, he's coming in. <laughs> coming in hot. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's like... Very good, we're backing up, don't worry. <laughs> We just had a mishap. Forgot to put the plug in. Yeah. I'm more worried about the wood. That guy was doing a full set. He was fully, like, yeah. he was like, <laughs> just oh, like yeah. this is a five lane boat <laughs> ramp. I'm gonna take this one spot. I'm going straight after where he's at. Hey, your thing is sticky. I know. It's sticky. sticky. I pulled I, I pulled two four inch long pieces of fiberglass still, out of it the still? other day. See, yes. that's the thing about a new boat. Are you recording? Yeah, or are you yeah, yeah I'm recording? still recording. So the thing about new boats is like, all this, the fiberglass that they had, and they, like the boat's made of fiberglass, it's all still down in there, still trying to come out because it's still a new boat. And when you put it in, it's like. Kick, 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 kick. That'd sound like Popeye, for sure. That nice new boat smell, <laughs> it works its way back to the, the bunghole of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a good day. Well, yeah. Anything else you'd like to add to this moment? <laughs> this is a, no, this is a good start. I'm having so much fun. Like a stick of gum. Okay, I need to move this metal detector. Here, Here, take that. Yeah, yeah that'll, that'll be fine. Yeah, they're coming up. Oh my. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm excited. I know. Look at them, look, 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 look. Oh my God. Oh Ooh, my God. Those are some dude, decent pops in there. Those are, those are some doozies over there. I'm seeing them everywhere, dude. Even the bird's getting out there. He's like, holy crap, I gotta get me some of that. Let me get off this stump and look at, look at this guy. He's like full speed ahead. Like, I gotta get, look at the shed. Oh my God. Look at the shed, dude. Am I recording? I am recording, oh yes. Oh Getting down. Oh my. You got him? Oh, I'm on. I'm Whoa. Up. I'm up. Smoked. We're too, we got too many things going on. These are nice keepers though. I mean, we're out here to get meat, so. You want, you want, to, you want to eat them? These are nice ones, dude. I'm not going to turn it down. Oh, Alex has got one. White Bass King is here. I'm here. First time? First time. This is your first time? Yeah. Awesome. Sand Bass King is here. You're, you're getting to experience some good stuff. There we go. Hitting it hard. I can feel their little keepers, mouths trying keepers, keepers. to wallop it. I feel small ones trying to get it. Ooh, that's a big shad getting busted there. Wow. Wow. Look <laughs> at That's so oh, cool. Look at the water. He's doing backflips. I got one. I got Look a little. Oh that my shot. gosh, oh my that God. is so awesome, <laughs> man. And they're backflipping shad out of the water. I got a little. little oh, guy you got here. one that has yeah. to go back. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
He housed it too. This is how I caught my first fish ever. <laughs> I just slapped my Snoopy pole right on top of the water and caught a fish. There. This is the keeper. Blowing him out of the water, one? yeah. Everywhere. Hey, all around, 360. All around. Oh, this is a it's keeper. It's a 360 catch. This is for sure, keeper. You're about to hit the steel tonight, baby. Oh, ah. I got I got one too. Oh, that's his good one. I got a good one. Oh, you did get a good one. Yeah. yeah okay, we're doing things. This is the most random day ever. I said when I woke up this morning, I was like, I've been working on wood for so long. I just want to go fishing. I don't care what's biting. Everything's biting. Look at, Dude, look at the bounty. Way. I'm gonna get out the crappie special. Oh, look at this! Oh, you oh, can't wow. tell me that's not fun. What's if I Dude, it out of the water? It's, it's more fun just watching them smack. Oh, I got a fish on the teeny tiny rod. I got a marlin. Look at that. Wow, that is an actual fight. <laughs> oh, come on, hit my bait. Dude, look at it. Look at here, man. Whoa, look at both of us. Four pound test, look at it. Oh. Uh, oh, that is so much fun. Look at that, I, I gotta get crushed. Can you guys hear this audio? I mean, it's just <laughs> it's just suction. That's all it is, is suction. I'm hooked up, baby. Come on, come on. Come on. Hey! That's a good one, that's a good one. Hey, Alex has got a great one too. Oh, party fell. Oh, mine got off. They only have to be 10 inches to keep, so. We're catching like real nice ones. Oh, we got a runner. Hey, he's not very good. I mean, I'm throwing the tiniest thing. <laughs> I shouldn't really expect much. This is like a freshwater bonita. It is. This it's a is. Oh, oh, oh my oh, gosh. No. <laughs> oh, look at this little rod, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this bait ball. Look at this bait ball, dude. Oh my God, look at him. Holy oh, cow. That is oh, insane. Man. They're coming right towards us. Wow. I got you it. You never so see that. Look at that. Wow. Look at that bait ball right there. On the surface. I'm hooked up. Oh, I came off. I can't even lift this guy. I just caught that one on four pound test, dude. Dude, look at that bait ball right there. Oh my God, look at him behind us. They're yeah, everywhere just, like a squirrel. Just hang tight. Dude, I can't even set the hook with this rod. It's just like they got a... Oh <laughs> This is weird. I mean, normally it's like sundown, sun up kind of thing. They, this is like just broad daylight. Oh, this one's definitely not a keeper. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby! Yampa four pound test. This is probably the funnest rod I've ever experienced. <laughs> it is a good one. Boat flipping him on the yamps. Can't do it. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, we were going to have deer meat tacos, but this is just going to take precedence. <sighs> we're going to get one last little nugget. There he is. Oh, is it going to be a keeper or not? Either way. I enjoy his presence. Oh, and we're on. I think if there was one lure I had to bring to a survival situation, it'd be a spoon. A spoon? A spoon. spoon. Oh my gosh, look at the Mondo-ness. Oh, that's, that's a toad. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's pretty big. You know what, I'll do, I'll we're going to have to keep you. Just popping shads. Dude, look at him jumping shad out of the water. That is a good one. Hey, that's, that's a keeper. We have absolutely skewered the white bass. I'm bringing that word back, skewered. That was so fun, I needed that. When I woke up this morning, I was like, I just need to go catch something. I just need to go fishing. So incredible fun times. They're still biting, but we're gonna move on to the catfish game. So we've got these uh, these bluegills, sunfish species. We're gonna chop some up, we're gonna put them on jugs. I think this is gonna be a really great area because all these white bass and hybrids feeding around here. What do the catfish do? They go down to the bottom. They wait for those easy scraps because they're lazy sons of guns. So that's the theory anyway. We're going to see if that works out. There are thousands just, of... I just I, can't stop looking at them. They're it's everywhere. amazing. It feels like we're in a tuna episode. This is crazy. This is tuners. It just keeps going. The catfish lines are out. We can go fish for white bass because they're so much fun. Tasty. I'm, I'm probably going to metal detect. Okay, Rod's probably going to metal detect. <laughs> that's, that's where he's at in life. That's okay. I work on wood projects. Yep. That's it. Okay, good. I'm just going to go three sections. The filet mignon of the catfish world. That's a porterhouse, T-bone, tomahawk steak. Just gonna go with that circle hook right in there, right through the back. I don't want to fill up the gap of that circle hook too much, because that's how they get hooked. Okay, bombs away. I think that might be perfect. That is perfect. Perfect depth, win. You gotta be kidding me. I just threw my weight in. Wonderful. I forgot to snap my thing. Just went to the bottom. <laughs> oh. Hey, there was an LFG moment right there. Always snap your snaps. It's kind of what they're for. It's time for Rob to go do his thing. 
do what he does. He does the wands, looks for things. So we're trying to find him a spot where he can go do that while we're waiting for the catfish lines to go out, go down. It's a win-win. You got a spot picked out, bud? All right, let's put the hammer down. Hey, good luck, man. Thank you. you need like a good saying, like wand on or something like that. Wand on, good. It's gonna need a flying leap. One of those good Lunker originals. That's more than a... Oh! <laughs> I'd say you did well, man. Hook this gizzard shad right in the back. Let's see what happens here. Just throw him on out. Well, Rob is still doing his detecting, his wanding. Still wanding on, finding a ton of weights and stuff like that. Anyway, you can go check out his treasures on his channel, I suppose. So here's that dime I was talking about. Got this color treasures. is it silver. I didn't even look at it. I didn't look at the year because look at the coloring on it. What year is it? 92. Is it really 92? It is. Hopefully we have some Kit Kats to be found. We'll call them Kit Kats, little joys. Free floater jug, I don't think it's moved, so I don't think it's got anything on it, but we do have to check other, our other lines and they're in prime locales. We got a storm rolling in behind us too. I think it's time to roll and see if we got any surprises. Jug lining and metal detecting both have surprises on the ends of, the, of the, the units. I'm telling you right now, this is something. It's just got crustacean stuff all over it. I was gonna let you grab it. Well. I'm just gonna go ahead and just start wrapping it yeah, up. Yeah, just go ahead and wrap that thing up, <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> it was a long shot, but we figured we'd give it a go while you were wanding. Dude, it got taken! <laughs> Woo! It did get taken. How does that make you feel? Dang, that sucks, bro. Really? There's a bunch of them, huh? Yeah. Oh. Something has triggered our jug. Steven, what's your excitement level? Um, can't wait to see it and then eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ready to check them? My face is ready. See if anything's on there. You feel it? Yep. You there do is. feel? Yeah, there is. He just tugged 114%. <sighs> feel it tugging still? Um, it's a very heavy. It's a fish? It's a catfish on it. Oh, yeah, it's a blue. That's a caddy. And we got a blue, baby. It's blue catfish, guys. Okay, I got. Ah! Oh, did you get hooked? Oh, underneath the fingernail. Okay. Ooh, listen to him honk. Okay, guys, this is a nice catfish. It is under the 30 inch uh, to 45 inch slot, so he is going in with our. We have a plethora going on here of fish. New jug lines working out, guys. We didn't even have them out here this that long. Just a couple hours, and they were getting dangled hard. That one just went down. It it, it was it, it. it wasn't down before. Are you ready for this one? There it is. Yeah. Are those fish? Those are fish. And we have the dangler. Guys, this one just went down. Like we were getting the other one off and now this one's an automatic little boink. False alarm, you think? I don't know. Should we pull up I mean it, it could be. Oh no, there's fish. There's, there's fish? fish? Oh I see it. Yeah, it's it's moving. Dude! We are stroking them circle hooks they just don't go anywhere they're ruthless broke for me oh baby we are oh my gosh i'm gonna be working the flay knife tonight give that one a little check there's not a single ounce of movement on it no movement huh oh dang it dude let's reset it over here just want to let you guys know when you open your your dip bait and there's maggots in there that's extra goodies okay don't be discouraged just go in give it a plunge i think i have one in my shoe <laughs> To my toe. <laughs> I'm serious. Is in between my toes. While I'm staring at him, I'm definitely <laughs> gonna take a gander. Three kitties and how many white bass do you think we got in there? Mm hmm Yeah, that you put in the cooler. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Plenty? Yeah. Yeah. We've gotta give you guys one last dangle update. We've got a couple cats and we got a piece of cut bait out on a uh, regular rod and reel. And we're just waiting for some of the other ones to to go active. We're gonna stay out here a little bit, past dark, and see if any of the other ones go down, but we've got so much meat, you guys. Great, fantastic fishing day. Been incredible. Lots of dangling, lots of meat. Come on, baby! Oh my gosh. My what? mic was it on. Your mic wasn't on. It wasn't on. Hey guys, my name hey, is. Subtitles going on. <laughs> Large excitement. Noise. Woo! You, I could literally hear it. I was like, what is that knocking noise? <laughs> Clink. <laughs>
That thing has moved probably 40 yards. Let me get it. Come on. Come on. There could be something serious on here. I got it. Here we go. What do you feel? Like, what's your initial reactions? There's a there's head shakes. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're in 28 foot here. I don't know if it's giant, though. It doesn't feel huge. Doesn't, doesn't feel huge? Not yeah. real heavy? I mean, it's head shaking. He must maybe, have just moved it. Maybe he was just a super active cat. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? That cat is the one that moved all this? That's a that's a decent little channel though. He's a tasty one. That is a good eater though right there, man. Oh, that's a seizure. <laughs> that, was, that is some flare. <laughs> that's some flare action. Look at that. <laughs> Toss her in. Here we go, kitties. Is it hooked in your trolling motor? No, oh. uh-uh. He can't hold it down. Did you see that? Oh, absolutely. He took it down good. You see, you heard the trolling motor. Dude, we've got more cats on here. Look at him. Come on now, baby. Is he going to go down? He took that under for a while. This might be, might be a decent one. Come on, be decent. The last one tricked us. I think there's one on there, buddy. I, I think I think it's another. I'm going to move this out of your way. Okay. There has to be one on there. There's no way it dove that far. I think he might be tired now. He's on. There's fish on. Oh, yeah, there's fish on. Let me, let me start a wrap here. Get the wrap going. Here, let me do this. Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah, that, that's definitely a fish. Oh, yeah. dude, that's a good one. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No. Oh my god! What the hell? What? Oh, oh my god. gosh, dude! What? No way! No way! No! Are you serious? No. What did I just say? No. Are you I serious? Said, that. I said I'll cry if we caught one like that. Dude, this is a giant. That's a 10 pounder, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. Shut up. Ragley, no way that that just happened. That's a 10. Oh my. Cut the light off so I can I, uh, see if I can get oh it. Oh my gosh, Look bro. At that thing. That is a freaking huge that one. That is huge. Okay, we got it. We got that's it. That's a bucket, dude. Get him in the live bottle. Get it. Oh, that's a nine plus. All oh, day. Yeah, all absolutely. Day. All right, he's still, he's still, he's way out. Okay, he's good. Yeah, he's good. Okay, I'm gonna reset. Oh my gosh, that's dude, huge. that is a hammer. Yeah, that's a nine, that's a nine pounder at least. I think so. 921. Dude, it just feels 919, heavy. 919, 919, 919. is what it locked in as. See, this is gonna go in <laughs> the Guggen cave this somewhere. Funny. This is hilarious. Let's get quick measurements. He's short. He's uh, 23. 20. Actually, tw yeah, he's 23. 23. And let's get girth. He's freaking fat, dude. He's not messing around in the summertime. 18 inches around. 23, 18. Okay, here we go. 23, 18. We're all about fish, con fish conservation. There he goes. All right, we're good. Get back down there, dude. He's good. Get back down. Come on, swim bladder. I think he's gonna be fine. Is he going? He's gonna kick. He's kicking strong. She's no, kicking he's, strong. He's good. Swim bladder. He's adjusting. Keep that light on there. It's gone. Like yeah, he's gone. It's gone. Into the night. <laughs> Insane. I cannot believe we almost had a double digit bass on a daggum jug line. It ate cut bait. Cut bait. That one's getting mounted. Don't you say, Rob? Uh, one. There, one, I'm gonna hit one, you with that right now. Just one, give me. One billion percent that's getting mounted. 100 <laughs> billion percent. It's gonna be a funny, funny mount because that's the biggest bass I've ever caught out of jug line. <laughs> <laughs> but we still got a lot of work to do. We gotta go back to the house and we gotta get the knives out and really start cutting up all the fish we've got. We've got probably 20 pounds of fish. I'm not even kidding you. Incredible day. Just a day I needed. Hope you enjoyed it. So this is the bounty. Been one of the best meat hauls we slayed it wasn't even really catching it or it wasn't Just even fishing it's kind of a lot of blood <laughs> <laughs> touched it <laughs> that was a full sniff i had to get in there close i have nicked my finger ladies and gentlemen it is this knife is a little sharp the onlookers just had to leave it is midnight Still cleaning fish, y'all. Still going strong, I got a few more left. But I tell you what, the best way to do these is let them sit. Let them sit overnight or at least like four or five hours on ice. Meat is a lot easier to clean when it's chilled. If you haven't seen the buffalo recipe, stay tuned because we're gonna do that on, a, on another video. A couple more here, we're gonna be done. Look at all these fillets right here. 
And there we go, look at that big sack of white bass fillets. We absolutely crushed them today. I've still gotta do the kitty cats, but I'm gonna let them chill overnight. They survive in the live well much longer. We're actually gonna stop this video right here, guys, because there's so much insanity that has gone on. Boom, after the rainstorm, fish are just schooling everywhere. We knew right away we were gonna get a bunch of white bass meat. We already had some trot lines ready to go from Rob's bluegill catches, so we got those out there. Didn't take long for those to get hit. Started getting the catfish and then a giant bass came up and hit one of those bluegill. I'm almost embarrassed to say that's my biggest bass out of that lake. Uh, we caught it on a daggum jug line. And it's actually not legal to keep game fish like largemouth and stripers that you catch on jug lines. Obviously, we're going to let that fish go anyway. Just letting you guys know, if you catch fish like that, you got to let them go if you're catching them on a jug line. You have to, have to, have to hit the like button. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Just tell us how crazy you think that was. Oh man, it's just an awesome day, guys. Thanks for being here for it, and I'll see you on the